Well, the Northern Territory Chief Minister, Natasha Files has reacted furiously to an exclusive Sky News report which we revealed last hour. That is, that the former Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, wanted the Coalition Party Room to support the return of intervention-era policy. Live now to Matt Cunningham in Darwin. Matt, we broke this news last hour. What has the Chief Minister had to say? Well, I predicted there might be a furious response from the Northern Territory Government, and I think that prediction's already came, come true. This is the response that I've just received from uh, the Northern Territory Chief Minister, Natasha Files. She says, Scott Morrison is the Prime Minister who let the Northern Territory down. He and his party, including the Nationals, walked away from remote Territorians. His Cabinet refused to look at alcohol management plans. His words mean very little now. His actions speak volumes and will do so for decades to come. Now, this comes in response to that news you had last hour that Scott Morrison was uh, saying to the Coalition Party Room, Laura, that uh, the Coalition should back Jacinta to Price's private members' bill. She's introducing that into the Senate as we speak. That bill would see a return of those intervention-era measures, those alcohol bans in particular, in remote communities and Aboriginal town camps. Now, we've seen the Northern Territory Government just this week backflip on this issue. It had allowed alcohol to return after that Stronger Futures legislation expired last July. Uh, but Jacinta Price has been arguing that she wants basically the old rules to return. Under what the Northern Territory Government's announcing now, it would have control of this issue. Uh, those communities would need to put alcohol management plans to the Northern Territory Government's Director of Licensing uh, and then they want to have a vote on whether alcohol would return. Jacinta Price, uh, well, she's basically arguing that control of this issue should stay with the Commonwealth. Here's a bit more of what she had to say about this. It's about a partnership between the federal government and the territory government. We cannot leave these matters to the territory government anymore. They have demonstrated over and over again their failures to protect territorians, all territorians, uh, from the alcohol-related crime that we've uh, been experiencing. Northern Territory Government's obviously opposed to what Jacinta Price is trying to do today. She has been trying to introduce, or she's been drafting this bill uh, for several months. Both she and the Labor Federal MP, Marion Scrimger, had made it clear they didn't believe uh, that it was a good idea to return alcohol to these town camps. And some of the statistics we've seen since uh, Laura certainly back up that argument. But we do have a letter that Natasha Files, the Chief Minister, sent to Jacinta Price yesterday in relation to this matter. It says, It has been observed that much of your proposed legislation is a repeat of the Stronger Futures Act, an, extent, an extension of the intervention with the associated lack of consultation with community and makes the Commonwealth Minister the final approver of alcohol management plans. It is involved in decision... It is. Uh, evident that this approach has failed previously and does not empower the communities to be involved in decision-making or implementing actions to reduce harm. So while the Federal Government and the Northern Territory Government are now on the same page mm. uh, with the return of these alcohol bans, there's still, uh, Laurie, you can see quite a bit of division between the Coalition and the Northern Territory Labor Government. Yeah, on this issue. There certainly is. Matt, thanks so much for that. Let's take you live to the Senate now. This private member's bill has just been introduced. This is Malindiri McCarthy. Carthy. Let's listen in to her now. And the responsibility of governments and oppositions when it comes to policy making. And whilst this private senator's bill has been brought forward by my fellow colleague from the Northern Territory, I have to say to the Senate that the Northern Territory government is doing what we expect it to do. And I have to say to the Senate that there has been enormous pressure applied to ensure that the Northern Territory Government does what we know they are capable of doing within the Northern Territory Legislative Assembly, and that is to make the amendments that are required. Did they do it too late? Have they been real slow? Well, I think we can all answer that, but they're doing it. They're doing it. It's going to be there. Those bans we want, they're going to be in place on Wednesday right across every area of the Northern Territory that we're talking about. The difference here, Senators, is that we've also, as members of government, had to look at this extremely closely in light of the history of the Northern Territory intervention and the sense of disempowerment that also occurred 
across the Northern Territory. And I do hear what my colleague's saying about those concerns around the town camps, but there are other things, Senators, you also need to know about that people had concerns about regarding that intervention. And I am such a firm believer in democracy in this country. I'm such a firm believer in the empowerment of people at every level. As flawed as we may be in our ability to make and enable others to have the power to stand up for themselves, we've got to always keep trying to get it right. And that is Labor Senator. Uh, Malandiri McCarthy, Assistant Minister for Indigenous Australians there. That is pretty powerful stuff. She was speaking there in response to Jacinta Price just introducing this private member's bill to bring in that intervention style policy that was Stronger Futures. Malandiri McCarthy essentially um, just told the Senate that there has been enormous uh, pr pressure applied from the federal government, the federal Labor government, to the Northern Territory government and Natasha Files. Um, and she said, essentially, asked the rhetorical question, um, well, have they been too slow? Yes, but now they're doing it. Um, she's also said the bans will be back in place by next Wednesday. So, interesting stuff there from Malandiri McCarthy and there's plenty more to come from what is what are the next steps for Alice Springs and some of those Aboriginal camps.